Hi, I'm Susan Kammerman. I'm the worldwide head of medical communications for Parkcell International. Parkcell, as I said, is a clinical research organization. The uh, majority of the organization does research in a variety of therapeutic areas for the pharmaceutical industry. Medical communications um, takes those data and interprets them and uh, distributes and, and communicates those data to a variety of stakeholders, including physicians, patients, managed care personnel, internal personnel at the pharmaceutical company, as well as within Parkcell. So we will be involved in writing journal art articles for most of the major peer-reviewed journals, as well as um, Congress work. So ASCO is the American Society of Clinical Oncology is a uh, Congress where we will participate working with the principal investigators of the clinical trials to disseminate the information in ways that can be um, best understood by each of the different audiences like physicians, patients, managed access, or internal personnel. So my personal experience with clinical research stems back to when I was diagnosed with triple negative, uh, an aggressive form of breast cancer. I was given a series of drugs, um, ACT, those compounds, I am convinced, saved my life in addition to having had surgery and radiation, but the chemotherapy made sure that even with an aggressively growing and large tumor, I did not metastasize. And uh, a very dear friend of mine was given those drugs in a clinical trial they saved her life as well when these weren't on the market for distribution or administration. Uh, they saved her life and it was the work that she did in those clinical trials that ultimately saved my life. I think that some of the problems or barriers keeping people from getting involved may be just the lack of knowledge in my team, for example, within Parkcell, is very intimately involved in making sure that materials are developed for patients so that they can understand what will be involved in a clinical trial, um, the minimal risks, if any, and the the likely benefits of those clinical trials. I think that if patients knew where to look for clinical trials that they may be eligible for and understand that they are less risky than um, they may believe, they may be more apt to enroll in a clinical trial. Uh, contact major institutions that are in your area that are consistent with the diagnosis that you have. So if it, you were in on the East Coast of um, the United States and you had a cancer diagnosis that you needed you wanted to join a clinical trial for, then calling Memorial Sloan Kettering and asking what trials they're participating in, in breast cancer is a way to start the networking that's needed in order to identify and then enter into a trial. Clinical trials save lives, it saves the lives of the people in the trial, and it saves lives of people that come after them. They're very important, they are safe, and um, they are available.